A movie is only as good as the sum of its parts. Any number of things contribute to the success, or lack thereof, that movies are capable of achieving. And usually, a solid performance from the actors is enough to secure a certain amount of respect from audiences and critics alike. There are occasions, however, where this really isn't the case. All too often, a great performance becomes lost in amongst the jumble of subpar movies that are released every year. While awful is a pretty subjective term, there are countless movies that are widely considered to be just that, often in spite of an impressive cast or beloved source material. But when an actor's performance is a notable standout in an otherwise awful movie, it deserves a little recognition. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 actors whose performances were way better than the movie. Number 10. Adam Driver as Kylo Ren Star Wars The Last Jedi The third and final trilogy in Star Wars' Skywalker saga wasn't without its ups and downs. Each entry in the trilogy has a healthy mixture of supporters and detractors. And in a cinematic franchise as long, storied, and beloved as the Star Wars universe, feathers are always bound to be ruffled by a major release. The second in the trilogy, The Last Jedi, was unfairly blasted by fans for a number of reasons, the most cited of which were the character arcs deemed by many as too divergent, as well as the apparent disregard for fans' theories regarding Rey's parentage. Oh, boo-hoo. While many had plenty to say about the areas in which The Last Jedi was deemed lacking, it's impossible to deny Adam Driver's on-screen presence as Kylo Ren. Driver practically steals the show, which isn't exactly easy when you're sharing a screen with fan-favorite characters such as Luke Skywalker, Leia Organa, and Yoda. But Kylo Ren was undeniably one of the most captivating characters in the entire Star Wars cinematic pantheon, and he absolutely kicked ass in The Last Jedi. Number 9. Kristen Stewart as Phoebe Larson – American Ultra American Ultra was released in 2015 to an amount of hype far beyond the movie's worth. A mostly uninteresting action comedy which proved to us once again that Jesse Eisenberg really wasn't destined to become Hollywood's next big thing. It tells the story of a young stoner who is in fact the only survivor of a secret mind control program in which he was trained to be a highly efficient killer. Treading over some fairly well-trodden ground, it felt as though American Ultra was simply a movie made for bored conspiracy theorists. And while Eisenberg gave the leading role a fair try, he just wasn't particularly interesting, in spite of his classified I'm a human weapon backstory. Strangely, one of the best aspects of the entire movie is Kristen Stewart's performance as main character Mike's girlfriend and handler Phoebe. Although known for her flat and emotionless portrayal of Bella Swan in the Twilight Saga, Stewart is easily the saving grace of American Ultra, and any chemistry that the movie has seems to come directly from her performance. So go you, K Stew! Number 8. Will Smith as Nicky Spurgeon Focus Focus received mixed reviews from critics upon its 2015 release, which doesn't bode particularly well when you consider that it stars Will Smith and Margot Robbie in leading roles, both huge names in their own right. As it goes, the performances of its lead actors were not actually the issue, but instead the excessive plot twists and shallow story proved to be the critics' main problem with the flick. Although Smith's previous leading role was in Universally Panned After Earth, his role in Focus was the movie's high point by far. Smith and Robbie boast an enticing on-screen chemistry, and seeing the actor return to fine form was heartening for his fans. While Focus did stretch itself too far in attempting to be an intelligent, fast-paced crime comedy drama, Smith was able to pull the movie some way back into realism with his grounded, charismatic performance as seasoned conman Nicky Spurgeon. Number 7. Jennifer Aniston as Claire Bennett – Cake Jennifer Aniston has built her professional reputation on the merits of her time on Friends, and the rom-com work kept rolling in all through the 2000s. She's also appeared in a staggering number of movies that you've likely never heard of, almost none of which have been critical darlings. Cake is no exception. Aniston starred as Claire Bennett, a woman suffering from chronic pain after surviving a car crash that killed her son. Relying heavily on self-medication, Bennett attends a support group where she becomes entangled in the lives and deaths of the people she meets there, getting a glimpse at a side of Jennifer Aniston that we don't often get to see. 
Claire is brought to life by the friend Star as a foul-mouthed, raw and heart-wrenching mess of a human being, doing her best to muddle through after her life has been all but ended. While Cake wasn't the greatest movie ever made, Aniston's performance was almost certainly one of the high points of her career. Number 6. Ezra Miller as Barry Allen slash The Flash – Justice League Though the DCEU has definitely gotten a fair amount of things wrong over the years, casting Ezra Miller as Barry Allen aka The Flash was easily something those in charge got absolutely right. Miller's portrayal of the speedster in 2017's Justice League is perfectly awkward and energetic. And throughout the big screen team up of some of the biggest names in comics, it seems as though the Flash is at odds with everything around him, injecting some much needed humor into the dreary world of Zack Snyder's making. Barry brings us a number of gems that not only had the audience laughing at something other than the low overall quality of the movie, but actually redeemed it from being an almost unwatchable mess. So go you Ezra, you did good. Number 5. Jim Carrey as Steve Gray – The Incredible Burt Wonderstone The Incredible Burt Wonderstone could have been so much more than what it was. The flick starred Steve Carell as the titular magician, attempting to recreate his old magic with his former partner, in order to take on a dangerous and wildly popular street magician named Steve Gray. With Steve Carell and Steve Buscemi in lead roles, you'd expect the incredible Burt Wonderstone to be an awful lot funnier than it really was, especially given Carell's undeniable comedic chops and Buscemi's bizarre charisma. But Jim Carrey's performance as Steve Gray completely and totally stole the show, both in the movie's story and in reality. It cannot be easy starring alongside someone as energetically brilliant as Carey, and his satirical spin on magicians like David Blaine and Chris Angel was absolutely spot on and hilariously presented in such a way that it's hard to understand how he wasn't the main character. The incredible Burt Wonderstone was not awful by any means, but it wasn't particularly impressive, and Carey was, as always, the most captivating part of the entire movie. Number 4. Rami Malek as Freddie Mercury – Bohemian Rhapsody Bohemian Rhapsody is the biopic that the entire world waited far too long to see, and it really didn't do justice to the band whose story it was trying to tell. Telling the long and fraught history of Freddie Mercury and Queen was never going to be a simple task, and it certainly didn't turn out to be. Off-screen controversies aside, Bohemian Rhapsody missed the mark by quite some margin. The flick was lambasted by critics for oversimplifying real-life events and reducing characters to more one-dimensional beings than their real-life counterparts. And while the movie is undeniably entertaining, it's hard not to notice its many shortcomings. The one area where there is very little room for discussion, though, is Rami Malek's award-winning performance as Freddie Mercury. While it would seem that bringing the brilliant and truly unique singer back to life is an utterly impossible task, Malek achieved just that in a way that no one would have thought possible. Malek's performance earned him Academy Award, BAFTA, Golden Globe, and SAG wins, all of which he was thoroughly deserving of. And even though Bohemian Rhapsody isn't the greatest of biopics, Malek's performance alone warrants at least one viewing by all. Number 3. Jake Gyllenhaal as Billy Hope – Southpaw Jake Gyllenhaal underwent an incredible transformation for his part in Southpaw. Spending five months training twice a day to achieve the required physique and skill set to convincingly portray a light heavyweight champion boxer, which, as you've probably guessed, was not easy. Unfortunately, the movie was a predictable boxing comeback story and contained each and every trope that you'd expect from a sports drama. Despite the uninspired nature of the movie, though, Gyllenhaal proved yet again why he is such a bankable star. He delivers an emotional, brutal, and touching performance which stands out as easily the most remarkable thing in an otherwise generic boxing movie. While Gyllenhaal undeniably saved Southpaw from a universal panning, he couldn't completely make up for its shortcomings, and it was quickly forgotten. But his performance as Billy the Great is something that deserves far more praise than it ever received. Number 2. Jennifer Lawrence as Joy Mangano – Joy Jennifer Lawrence has starred in a particularly eclectic mix of movies in her career, and although she's generally seen as being in possession of some notable talent, she certainly has more than a few duds lurking in her back catalogue. Joy is just one of such titles. Its 2015 release saw it receive mixed critical reviews, 
but one of the only things that was consistent among them was the praise for Lawrence's leading role as Joy Mangano, the inventor of the Miracle Mop. Critics claim the otherwise uncertain approach to its fascinating fact-based tale was anchored by a strong performance by Jennifer Lawrence, but had little more of note to say of the movie which also starred Robert De Niro and Bradley Cooper. In short, the biopic simply wasn't compelling enough to create much interest among moviegoers. But Lawrence's performance stands out as not only the movie's main redeeming factor, but further evidence that Lawrence really needs to start choosing her roles more carefully. Number 1. Johnny Depp as the Mad Hatter – Alice in Wonderland Alice in Wonderland was Tim Burton's live-action animation hybrid fantasy loosely inspired by Disney's animated movie of the same name, as well as the Lewis Carroll books Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Being that it's a Tim Burton movie, you can naturally expect three things. Johnny Depp, Helena Bonham Carter, and an aesthetic that is equal parts gothic and disturbing. The movie delivers on all three but it was only the first of them that seemed to do the movie any good. Burton's characteristic quirkiness proved to be somewhat at odds with the Wonderland that we were expecting to see, and the gentle reimagining of the story was something that no one was particularly excited about. Johnny Depp, however, was able to impress with his truly bizarre portrayal of Tarrant Hightop, the Mad Hatter, the Mayor of Wonderland, and leader of the Resistance against the Red Queen. Mostly adopting soft, gentle tones, the Hatter occasionally broke into an unexpected harsh Glaswegian accent when angry, and the character is easily the most entertaining aspect of the otherwise strange and unnecessary film. While many of the other actors in the movie deliver forgettable and unremarkable performances, Depp's is one that's impossible not to remember. Trust me, I've tried.